Okay, so to begin this, here I have the PVC tube that I'm going to be using for the handle for the broom. You can see it's in two sections. The longer section here is going to be the middle section of the broom, so this will be the bottom half of the handle. I've already got the collar glued in place, and now this is going to be the top portion. The line I have drawn on either end of these is so I know where the foam needs to end because it will go in like that so that the handle can come apart, make it easier to transport. So I've already pre-sanded, roughed up the surface of it. Now I have to cut my foam to wrap around it. I'm gonna be doing two layers of foam so that way the first layer evens up with the collar and then the second layer will go over both the collar and the first layer of foam and help disguise the joint. So I'm going to be using a six millimeter EVA foam from TNT Cosplay. Came in a roll. Um, and what I've done to figure out, because I'm going to do it as a single piece for the each section, to figure out how long of a strip I need to cut to do that, I have made a foam ruler. You can't just measure the diameter of what you're wrapping in the foam because the outer layer where you're doing your measuring is going to actually be larger than where you're doing the measuring. So using the exact foam I'm going to use, I made a ruler, marked it at every half inch. I'm just going to put it right up against the collar so I get it even. Wrap it around. And it's going to be about just under a four and three quarter inch strip of foam the entire length of the handle section is what I'm going to need to cut. So I'm going to measure it out on my my foam, mark it out with my silver sharpie so I can see it against the black, cut it. I'll also go ahead and cut the upper portion at the same time and then that way I can glue both the upper and lower pieces on in one go and uh, hopefully not have to have the glue container open as much. Uh, I am doing this indoors and to take care of the fumes from the glue, I have the window open and I have set up a box fan extracting the air from the room and I'm going to be gluing right in front of it so hopefully this will keep all the fumes out of the house and keep it going away so that we're not breathing it in. Uh, it'll help cut down the smell and keep all the fumes out. So. I know that's four and three quarters. I'll measure my lengths and then I'll start uh, cutting out some foam. So let's get this going. So I have the first layer of foam on. You can see it pretty much flushes out and makes the collar even with the outer surface right now. Still comes apart nicely. So the next step is to repeat the exact same process. But now because I have the first layer of foam on it, I have to make it a slightly larger piece. Also for the bottom section, I now have to make it stretch from my mark here to over the collar so that way the collar will disappear inside the foam. So again, I'll take my ruler, I'll measure my diameter, cut out my pieces, and repeat the exact same process. And then I will have the handle sheeted out in the foam and I'll have to then build up the bulk of the top and the bottom of the broom to make it work the way I want it to do. So let's go ahead and get that second layer of foam put on this.
So I now have uh, both layers of my foam on the two sections for the handle. And the next stage is going to be to take some thicker foam and create some layered sections that will go on the top and the bottom of the handle to bulk it up because I want it to taper down at the top and the bottom to give it a less uniform look. So for doing that, I'm going to switch and start using some EVA floor mats from Harbor Freight. Again, I've made up a new EVA ruler to be able to wrap around so I can tell how thick or uh, how, how large each piece will need to be. And since it's a thicker foam, I made a, a larger ruler. I shouldn't have to do many layers. I think I'll do end up doing two layers of this probably, but uh, it won't have to be that much to bulk it up to where I want it to be. So that's where the next stage is going to be to start using the floor mat and to uh, cut up my sections for both the top and the bottom. So there I have it. I've got all of my extra layers of foam built up to bulk up my uh, bottom and my top sections. Now I'm going to come back through with my razor knife and trim it all down so it's a smooth transition. And that will allow it to look a little bit more like an actual branch that's been cut off of a tree opposed to just a smooth tube of foam. So uh, let's uh, let's get cutting on this. So as you can see, I've gone in using a Sharpie and drawn in some lines for me to cut on. These are going to be the lines that I create to simulate the wood grain texture before I put the Mod Podge on it. So I've got several that are two lines coming together, and those are I'm going to do as a V-cut groove, so that it'll be a deeper cut into the bark of the, the broom handle. And then just the single lines, I'm going to just going to do as a straight cut and then he open up with a heat gun so they spread a little bit. Uh, I already drew it out over the entire length, so now I'm going to go in and cut them. And then we'll uh, hit it with the heat gun so they open up. Now that all the lines are cut, I've got my heat gun out and we're going to apply some heat to watch this stuff open up. So there we have it. That was the heat sealing on it to open up all the cuts, give it the rough bark texture. In the next video, we'll put the Maj Paj on it to fully seal it and to help give it a little bit more refined texture of a bark. And then we'll do the paint job on it. So as always, this has been Alex. Thanks for watching Drummer Artisifer Studios. See you next time.